So today we're releasing Neolima ogloblini, which is the Tradescantia leaf beetle. Um, not only is it completely safe, it only feeds on Tradescantia, but it's extremely voracious. Uh, the larvae are very, very fat blobs, which, uh, which we have christened Jabba the Hut because of their appearance, and they eat large quantities of Tradescantia leaves. It's the first of three uh, beetles that we hope to bring in as biocontrol agents of Tradescantia. Uh, we have two more, one of which feeds on the growing tips and buds, and another one which feeds on the green stems, and together in combination they, they are extremely damaging to Tradescantia, and we hope that they will provide complete control. The release of the leaf beetle marked the end of a significant battle by a biocontrol scientists. We completed the host testing of, of the Tradescantia beetle, We'd, we'd sought and gained permission from Irma to release it, but in a routine disease screening, we discovered that we had a, a gut parasite, a, a small Gregorine single-celled parasite. We obviously couldn't release the bit beetles from containment with the, with the disease, and so we began a very long process of trying to eliminate the, the disease from the beetles. Lindsay and the team beat the disease by adopting even higher levels of hygiene, and even more. Uh, we returned to Brazil to recollect from uh, hopefully disease-free sites. We still had Gregorines, we, we were still getting Gregorines in subsequent populations here in containment in New Zealand. We raised the level again by now collecting eggs from isolated females isolating individual eggs and rearing them through to, to pupation. Test the original female, mate pairs from those, from those F, from the F1 generation, uh, test the parents, those F1 parents again, taking eggs and taking those through another generation, individually rearing those, those eggs through to pupation again. After three generations of doing this, uh, we, we were, confident that what we were then seeing was disease-free beetles. Yeah, this is a pretty big day for, for us all, um, you know, this being the, f the very first um, biocontrol release for, new for the world. But it's an even bigger day for you guys at Lank here because, you know, it took a lot of work to get this Gregorine parasite issue sorted out, so congratulations to everybody. Tradescantia is distinctive in its ability to colonise low light areas. It can form a dense mat under forests, which smothers low-growing plants and prevents the natural regeneration of taller native species. This is a really important day for the Auckland Council, for people who live in Auckland and for Lanky Research. Um, I understand about eight years research has gone into this and this is a world first release of Neolima with the rest of it, bug, which is going to munch its way through the Tradescantia of the Auckland region. and I. I Tradescantia is a, a weed that I've grappled with myself and in natural areas but also in people's gardens. It really suppresses the natural regeneration and it's quite a difficult one to get rid of manually or even with spray. So a biocontrol approach is really longed for and we sincerely hope it'll be very, very successful. Um, and I think it's... Um, once again, a good example of the collaboration that goes on in the Auckland region between Lanky Research and the biosecurity team in the Auckland Council. And so I'd like to thank everybody involved for getting us this far. And we'll all be waiting with bated breath to see if these beetles go forth and multiply and take over the Tradescantia. And Mount Smart in Auckland was the first site for release. Uh, this is a great opportunity for Mount Smart to be part of a program that shows cross council and uh, other agency uh, collaborative uh, approach to how we tackle common problems. More releases for Jabba the Hutt are planned for later in the year.